Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Pro here. I'm back with another Wi-Fi battle. We post wins, loses, draws. This will be a question middle of the video at the end of the video. And at the end of the battle, I will show you guys my Pokemon sets. So don't even worry about that. Um, yeah, you guys see what we got here? My boy Rob my boy Robin Hood, the Sidewise is back, man. He's back, baby. And he put in a lot of work this match. It's unbelievable. But um Speaking of a lot of work, look at my opponent's team, man. He got a lot of work to work with, man. He got the freaking the Tyranitar, the freaking uh, what you call it, the graveyard, the graveyard Pokemon. The la I just call him Last Respects because his move set is like uh, that move is just unbelievable. Um, he is working with the Palafin too. Palafin was really annoying this match, but um, anyways, with that being said, guys, please like subscribe for your boy. We're gonna hit that intro, and um, yeah, let's go. And I got a battle against Sean. Let's go. So he's going to go into the gods ahead, the Garganacle, and I'm going to go into my Decidueye. So the reason why I named my Decidueye Robin the Hood is because not only because it looked like Robin Hood, but the app. Robin Hood actually robbed me for a lot of money um, in 2020 because I put a lot of money in GameStop uh, stock and they, they didn't reimburse me. So I'm still mad at that. But um, yeah, anyways, uh, I'm going to go straight for a Leaf Blade hair choice. Ban stat boost. And that does a whole bunch of damage to the Garganacle. Almost taking it out. But um, unfortunately, he does set up the Stealth Rock at, and that's pretty bad. But my um, Decision Right is safe and sound to go for another Leaf Blade. And uh, it does some good damage here. Well, it does no damage because, you know, Scizor four times resist that. So I'm like, I'm going to get the heck up out of here. And I'm going to go into my Earthworm Gym. Gym it. Because I'm pretty sure we can take any attack from this um, Scizor here. Unless uh, it's carrying the close combat. But, you know, if it's doing that, then Sayonara uh, Earthworm. But um, anyways, the Scizor is going to go for another Sword Dance. Now this thing is at uh, plus four in attack. And that's really scary. I'm going to go straight for the Chattel here, and I'm glad that he didn't attack me because I'm able to use it. And I'm like, I'm going to get the heck up out of here. I'm like, should I go into my Skeletors? I'm like, nah, man. I'm going to go on to Rob the Hood, man. We are out here, man. The Sidewire is a whole beast. And I'm like, you know what, man? I know that almost all Scissors tend to carry Bullet Punch, but um, the Sidewire is actually uh, faster than um, Scissor, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to Terrestrialize here, and I'm going to go Terra Dark. You know what I mean? Terra Dark, suck a punch. You know what I mean? This thing is a problem, man. This is why it's such a beast, especially if it's Choice Bandit. Unbelievable. But um, yeah, we're going to turn Terra Dark here and uh, we're going to get that, that Terra boost. So um, I know he's going to go for an attack here because he want to break the substitute. So I decided to go straight for a sucker punch here and look at this damage, man. Unbelievable. I like that damage. That's beautiful damage, you know what I mean? But um, judging by that damage, I'm like, yeah, this is definitely a defensive scissor. So this thing is gonna go for a pounce, jump around a little bit, and then um, break my substitute. Down goes my bean bag. I'm like, that's perfectly fine because I'm um, another sucker punch is gonna take out this um, scissor here. Um, it did show me that he is orb, so I'm assuming that he was kind of like uh, probably a def just like a defogger um, scissor here. But um, I'm able to hit this thing with another uh, sucker punch. Down goes scissor. Let's go, man. Now, now he's gonna go into the uh, what you call it this thing running running this <laughs> king's gambit and i'm like you know what i'm gonna get the heck out of here because i don't want to take um uh iron head to the face i'm gonna get up out of here and go bury back into my earthworm gym so i never realized how powerful um king gambit is so king gambit head does go for the sword dance i'm like all right i know that i'm gonna be able to take uh one kowtow cleave so I decided to go for the rest here, and I do outspeed this because King Gambit is slow as heck. So I go for the rest here, and I get all of my health up, which is fine. I do have the Chesto Berry, so it's going to wake me up right there. You know, I'm going to eat that little citrus berry while we're, we're sleeping. You know, I'm Game Freak Mechanics. And uh, here, the um, he goes for the Kowtow Cleave. And look how much health he brought me down to 53, which is unbelievable. I'm going to go straight for an Earthquake here because I can't use the Shetail anymore. And on top of that, he, he activated his weakness policy. So now he's at a plus four in attack, which is unbelievable. He's going to go for another Kowtow Cleave. And that's enough to take out my gym, man. Down with my boy, my guy, man. Crazy. But I'm like, you know what? It is what it is. Because um, 
I'm pretty sure my Iron Valiant could take at least one Sucker Punch from um, this Mon here. So we do come out here, man, with down a Telo Staff. And um, I am going to activate my Core Drive and get speedy as heck. So I'm thinking, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going straight for the Drain Punch. Drain punch. I don't care if he switches out into the Houndstone. So I'm like, you know what? Let's go straight for the Drain Punch here. Uh, he does go for the Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch does do some good damage. But we resist that four times. So I'm... I'm able to two times, so I'm able to hit Sting with a Drain Punch, get all that health back. Let's go, man. Iron Valley is such a good mod. Like, it's unbelievable. It is an unbelievable mod. Like, I actually have this, um, I actually have a sweep with this mod. I'm going to post that probably sometime this week. But um, anyways, down goes King Gambit, and now he's going to go into the Palafin. This Palafin, man, is unbelievable, man. Like, I just, <laughs> it, it's crazy. Like, I, I wish that this mod never existed, because this mod is such a beast yo but um anyways i'm gonna hit this thing with a spare break and um Palafin is gonna go for a flip turn and uh it does some good damage right there so he's gonna switch out and go go into the gonkanako and use that spot which is fine with me i don't really care um i'm gonna go straight for another spare break here and down goes gonkanako let's go man looking like some brown sugar let me borrow some sugar man but um the gonkanako is gone and i'm feeling good right now so now he's gonna go into the palafin again and now he's looking like above johnny bravo and i'm thinking like all right how can we play around this pokemon because this thing is such a beast with the jet punch and the wave crash and all that good stuff he does go for a jet punch but able to live it which is awesome and i'm able to hit this thing with another spirit break but we don't take it out unfortunately so i know that another um jet punch is going to take out my iron valiant and down with my iron valiant man damn so guys, question of the day. Did you guys defeat the Decidueye and uh, Terror Raid? Did you guys defeat the Decidueye uh, at the Terror Raid? Let me know down in the comments, man. And then speak to me. And guys, please like, subscribe for your boy. So now I'm gonna go out to my Glamora and I completely forgot the Stealth Rock is up. He does go for the Jet Punch and we live on one health, man. One health, unbelievable, man. You know what I mean? And I'm able to hit this thing with a mortal spin. And um, the good news is that not only the Stealth Rocks is out of my field, but the um, the Palafin is going to get some poison damage, which is awesome, man. And down goes Palafin. Let's go. Woo. Dang. <laughs> this is crazy. This is a crazy match. So I'm like, all right. Uh, the Palafin is gone now. That's a huge threat down. And now he's going to go into the Tyranitar. And I'm like, oh, man. That's, so I, I already know what's coming. You know what I mean? The the Tyranitar and Houndstorm um, set is, like, unbelievable. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go straight for Earth Power here. See uh, how much damage that does. And um, judging by the damage, I'm like, is this thing a Salt Vested? Because that didn't do any damage. And um, the Tyranitar is able to hit me with uh, Earthquake. Down goes my Glamour, man. And So... I'm gonna get another layer of toxic debris. I'm like, all right, since my Glamour is down, I have no choice but to go out to the big Balboski, my boy, my guy, man, Robin the Hood, you know what I mean? Um, the Sidui. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go straight for uh, Leaf Blade. If he does go into the house store, I'm like, all right, that's fine, you know what I mean? Because we will get some damage off this thing. But I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go straight for the Leaf Blade here. Let's go, man. Down, down goes Tyranitar. Woohoo! And um, now. I'm like, all right, the sand is up, and uh, I'm pretty sure Last Respect will take out every single Pokemon I have. So I'm just thinking, like, all right, this thing is probably going to be um, a Choice Bandit set, because I know most Houndstones are. And I'm just thinking, um, I should just switch out here, because I don't want my decision right to uh, get hit with the Last Respect, you know what I mean? Because I know he's going to start um, saying his prayers and uh last respects hit super hard and you know it's just it's just like a one hit quitter move you know it's like guillotine or freaking fissure but um now not only that on top of that he is going to wrestle and turn terra ghost and um a terror ghost houndstone is scary as heck so he's gonna turn terror ghost here and uh he's gonna pour some um wine out for the dead homies and uh, he's gonna go for the last respects here and you already know what happens there. Down with my King K roll, my freaking Skeletors, man. <laughs> Didn't even, wasn't even able to do anything this match. Unbelievable. But um, I'm also gonna get him some um, toxic damage, and I'm gonna go straight into my Tizzy And I'm just hoping that if I'm able to uh, take a get get the sucker punch off and take it out, then we are golden. But if not, then he definitely wins because um, 
a sand rush hound stone will outspeed my uh iron juggler we do go for the sucker punch down goes Whew. let's go decidueye let's do yo, this thing was a beast this match man decidueye dock is like it's a problem it is a problem man unbelievable but that's the match guys man i hope you guys enjoyed this match um we post wins losers draws like subscribe i'll show you guys the team bye